Can you hear me now? Yay! <laughs> Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining me. Oh, lovely, lovely. A little bit dark. I'm just going to kind of see if I can get a bit more light so you can see. That might be the best I can do. Need a bit more sunshine coming through those windows again, don't we? Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm really looking forward to a nice stretch. And um, we're gonna do a whole body stretch, but I wanted to spend a little bit of time um, working a little bit more into the hip. Oh, look, hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hello guys, are these the twins? Hello. Oh, good morning. <laughs> it's now time for a nanny. <laughs> nanny has a bit of nanny time now. Oh, I love that. Good morning. Too cute. Oh, thanks for logging on, everybody. Oh, looking forward to a lovely stretch with you all. We're going to work a little bit more into the hip joint. So a few of you joined us yesterday. Um, we're going to do a little bit more carry on with the hips. We're going to stretch um, in the legs and a whole body, but just a little bit more working deeper into the hip joint, working towards um, it. One of the poses today we'll work towards is mermaid pose. Um, and it's a deep stretch in the hips as well as in the quads. Um, so we'll spend some time, yeah, just working towards that. It's a harder pose. Don't expect that you get there. But if you did want to have a go or try that pose, we'll work towards it. And then over time, it might be something that you incorporate into your practice. Um, so yeah, working towards a little mermaid action today. Um, all right, let's start with a nice stretch. We'll um, begin in child's pose today. We're going to kind of heat up, work a little deeper, and then have a nice long um, cool down. So don't worry if you think, oh, Megs, we're only halfway through the class. We'll just kind of push it a little harder at the beginning, wake up the body, wake up the mind, and then have a really lovely, gradual slow down to give you a really beautiful shape. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, sorry about that. Let me just see if I can, can you guys still see me okay? Yeah, perfect. Okay, sorry. Um, perfect. Yeah, all right, child's pose. You can start either knees wide or you can have the knees hip distance, see where the body is this morning. Just sink down. Breathing in and breathing out. All right, close the eyes and allow the forehead to relax on the mat or on the fists. Allow everything to sink down. And this morning, really check in what feels a little tighter, what feels really quite nice. Where's the body feel stiff? And use these first few poses in stillness just to allow gravity to support you. I'm going to breathe in nice and deep. And slowly exhale. Nice, slow, deep breaths again. If you want to keep rocking that forehead, you can. Breathing in. And breathing out. And then bring the head back to a nice neutral position in center. Allow everything to soften and just close the eyes. This next set, step, sorry, we're going to focus on the breath. And just notice where the breath comes in this position. Breathing in nice and deep. And exhale. Can you feel the expansion of the belly? Breathing in. And exhaling. You kind of shift your focus to the belly so you can really think and work to feel the belly fill like a balloon, breathing in I also think and breathing out. I think so. Breathing in and breathing out. This time, shift your thought and see if you can shift the breath slightly. Almost imagine that you're sending the breath into the back body, just getting a little stretch there. So we breathe in. The 
this nice deep breath so you can get a little stretch breathe into the back and if that's a strange cue for you just see if you can work just focusing on that deep breath maybe see so if you can be again just think about how it might impact on that lower back breathing in nice and slow and breathing out breathing in and out lovely just taking some slow deep breaths this morning with a drop out of the mind and i want you to really give yourself permission here in this moment to let go of all the jobs the expectations on you for the next day or week or month and really dedicate this next hour the dropping out, getting lost in the movement. And when we kind of talk about that flow, it's when you kind of lose track sometimes of time and space. You're in your real natural rhythm. Often when you're creative, we kind of have that ability to just get lost in that flow. So today, maybe see if you can get lost in the movement and the breath and work with the depth of the hip to find any release that you need physically and emotionally today. Breathing in and slowly breathing out. Mm, lovely. I'm gonna slowly just take a moment to check in one last time, setting any intention for the class that you'd like. What brings you to the mat today? Are you looking for a little more energy, a little more peace? Just a nice stretch, time out for you. Make a little wish if you need to, and then slowly begin to bring the hands up and bring the body up to a nice tabletop. So if you've got the knees wide, bringing them in, finding that lovely length, shoulders in line with the wrists and hips in line with the knees. Amazing, good. We're gonna just inhale, draw the body under, finding your cat, belly in, pushing into the hands, good. Breathing in, we're gonna rock the shoulders up and find your cow. Good. Inhale. Drop the shoulders down. Just enjoy that stretch. When we're using it as a warm up today. Inhale. As we exhale, tuck the tailbone under. Peel that back. Draw in the pelvis forward. Draw the chin in. Lovely stretch. Working the shoulder blades apart. Maybe throw a little smile in there. Say good morning to yourself or hello. Inhale. Rotate the shoulders up and back. And exhale, finding your cow, feeling that lovely stretch. And often feel the stretch in the abs, the lower back, the neck and the shoulders. Beautiful. Inhale. Little smile. Exhale, find your cat. Good. We're going to move between the two at your own pace. Let's count you down from five. Finding your cat and cow as and when you'd like. If you want to stay longer in one, you can. If you want to move a little quicker, if it's feeling good in a certain area, just stay for five, for four, you got it, three, find some slow deep breaths in there, two, throw a little smile, stretch the face, and last one, finding that lovely cow, and then finding a nice flat back. So from flat back, we're gonna draw in that floating rib, under and draw in from the navel, getting that light, nice length in the spine. You got it. So this time we're gonna walk the hands slightly forward and we're gonna lean forward with the hips and take some circles to warm up the body. So lean forward with the pelvis as far as feels comfortable. If you'd like to lift the head and draw the shoulders down, you can. It's up to you. We can rotate the hips towards the right hand side and then we're gonna rotate them down and rotate towards the left and forward. It can be a little bit or a lot, if you wanted to add a little back bend here, you can take it as you need it. Another one, I'll count you down from five. Really feel those lovely twists. Notice where you feel it, maybe hips, maybe glutes. Four, and some beautiful deep breaths. Three. Inhale and exhale. Two. And slowly, slowly lean forward with the hips. Everybody pushing down. And we're going to come down onto the belly. 
a little earlier today just to get a little stretch in the body, in the lower part of the leg. So we're going to draw in with our right heel. Option to keep it there or reach out, see if you can grab the toes. Drawing the heel in. Again, I said we'd get a little extra stretch in the quads in some of our work today. A few extra variations that are quite strong. So say, take some time here just to wake it up. We're going to squeeze if you want in the glutes, tucking the pelvis under to get that lovely extra stretch. Likewise, if you're a little bit more flexy, you can bring the heel or the foot to the outside of the body, but still keep that squeeze tucking under in the pelvis. Nice work. Just taking some time to breathe in and out, releasing any of that strain and tightness that you've got in the legs. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Let's switch sides. Inhale, drawing in with the left side. Again, reaching back. If you, if you can reach the toes and it feels comfortable, again, relax the head and work to get the heel down. If it feels a lot exactly where you are, stay. If one side feels tighter than the other, just notice it and be glad you took time today to check in. If you wanted to squeeze in the glutes and really tuck the pelvis under, you can. Inhaling and exhaling. It always surprises me when I kind of work in these poses, keep breathing for me, because I, I would never have known that, like, for example, my left side's much tighter today if we didn't kind of meet here. So interesting enough, just breathe through and, again, listen to the body. If you want to take the foot to the side and that feels okay, but just really take time. I always sometimes find yoga like a love letter to the body, a lovely little concept, the idea of, you know, breathing, stretching, moving, getting to know yourself each and every time you meet yourself on the mat and slowly release the foot. Beautiful. Breathing in. And let's bring the hands on the outer um, edges, kind of the body or the ribs. Inhale, slowly. Let's peel the body up, lifting in the pelvis, coming back to that tabletop position. The hands can be slightly more forward. We're going to take our rolls the other direction. So we're going to lean forward with the pelvis as far as you like. If you wanted to drop the pelvis down a little bit and lift in the chest, you can. Rotate over towards the left. Listen to the spine. Listen to the body. And take your circles right and forward. Good. Nice deep breaths in and out. And a good place to look is between the thumbs. Big circles for five, <laughs> three, four, three, two, and one. Breathing in, coming forward again, pushing into the hands, breathing in, and slowly letting the body come down onto the mat. Lovely. Good. We're going to keep the hands here nice and wide. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up and back. Let's wake up the back body. So we're going to squeeze in the glutes, tucking under, pushing the pelvis into the mat. Inhale, we're going to push into the hands and just lift a little. Find a little baby cobra. Wherever that spine says it's enough, stay and slowly come back down. Exhale. Good. We're going to keep moving, breathing in, coming up, shoulders draw down and lower to the mat. You can be really small or really big, whatever feels good, but as you get that lift, draw the shoulders down and away. Good. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up and down. Last one, breathing in and rotating the shoulders up and back. You've got it coming back down onto the mat. Just relax the face and the cheek to one side so you can see the camera. And then when you're ready, we're going to bend both feet. Good. You've got the option just to stay here, relaxing, maybe reaching the hand in that direction or grabbing the toes. And this time we're just going to draw both heels in, maybe find that little tuck in the pelvis, pushing the pelvis into the mat and getting that lovely squeeze. Breathing in and breathing out. Now you can take the feet a little wider if you want, finding the stretch, but keep that squeeze in the glutes. Again, just focusing on getting a nice little stretch in the lower body for four, for three, two, 
And one, inhale. And then exhale. Finding that lovely release that you keep that hold, keeping that squeeze, tucking the pelvis, getting that lovely stretch. Inhale and exhale, release. Beautiful. Slowly bringing the hands nice and wide outside of the ribs. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up, push into the hands, use the core, lifting the body up to our tabletop position. Nice job. Inhale, let's extend that right leg. We're going to bend the knee. We're going to find circles in that in the hip. So we're going to take the knee wide, almost like, um, what's it called? The hydrant pose, sorry, and draw the knee in. And then we're going to kick those toes up, and the knee comes wide and down. Good. Find a little flow that works for you. Drawing in from the core to help you with that little bit of balance. If you're finding it hard on the wrist, come up onto a fist. That's absolutely fine. You can do that anytime. Nice deep breaths for five. Four. This is a really good one for the core as well as the hips. Three. Two. And one. Bringing that knee down. Lovely. Let's shift side. So check in if you need a little stretch in the wrist or you need to shift to a fist. Check in using your core for this balance. Inhale. Let's kick up with that left foot. So the toes come up and we take the knee wide and we slowly draw it in towards the center. Good. Find your breath. Don't hold the breath. Don't find some circles that work for you. They can be big or small. If you need to take any breaks. You know it's all about listening to the body. Leave out any part of the class that you think that's a bit too much or push a little harder or a little quicker, or in any other variation, you know if that's what you'd like. Four, three, deep breaths for me, two, lovely, and one. Big circle, and bringing the knee down. Beautiful, inhale, we're just gonna shift the weight over towards your left hand, reach up, take a lovely little twist here, draw the shoulders down, inhale, opening the chest and threading the needle, just getting that lovely little twist and stretch. Inhale, reaching it up. We're gonna flow and draw it down. Dancing between the poses, one more lifting. And bringing the hand down. Other side, inhale, lift. Maybe a little hole in that first one, getting that lovely stretch and reaching through. Once you find that little twist, inhale, keep it moving and lift. Lovely. Oh, and keep it moving. You've got it. Last one. Really find the lovely openness of the chest. Relax the face and slowly bring the hand down. Beautiful. All right, from tabletop, we're going to build in a little bit of a flow here. So we're going to extend that right leg, draw the knee in twice. And then we'll take our step forward. Inhale, extend, and draw it in. Good. Inhale, extend. Let's take our step, draw in from your core. Big step forward, wiggling that front foot forward. You got it. And staying here, we're lifting up. The hands can be on the knee, or you can have on the wall. If you want to reach up, inhale. Maybe bring the palms together and sink down a little further into that front knee. Dropping your shoulders down, little smile. Inhale, relax the forehead. Exhale, lean back slightly and then slowly bring the hands on either side of that front foot. You've got it, we're gonna take the right hand down. We're gonna either bring the left hand, sorry, left hand down, right hand either on the knee or opening up, drop the shoulders down. <laughs> and option to tuck the back toes and lift up. You can work the back heel away, draw the front knee forward and open the body. Might feel better with the hands here for four. Nice work. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, dropping it down. That top hand comes down. And what I want to do is to bring the right hand on the inside of your foot and wiggle the foot over slightly towards the outer edge of the mat. This is actually called lizard lunge. So if it's feeling quite a lot, Stay here. If you want to move it a little bit more open, you can take your right hand and push the knee open a little bit as you sink. And there's another option is to come down onto the elbows and sink a little further, maybe untuck that back toe. So this is called lizard lunge. It's a little bit deeper. Again, the knee's allowed to drop out if you want it to. You can use the hand and keep it on the elbows, stay lifted, or you can keep it a little bit more in it. 
a more relaxed lunge. I'm ready wherever you are, if you're on the forearms, if you're in that lizard lunge, breathing in, let's come back up. Everybody slowly bring that knee in, bringing the hand and wiggling the hips back, kind of wiggling that front foot back as well. Knees, hip distance, sink down into your child's pose. And just relax for a few deep breaths here. Just noticing where you felt that. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Lovely. Breathing in. And slowly breathing out. Great. We're going to bring the hands forward. Feeling the body up. Little cat. Rotate the shoulders up and back. Cow. And relax. The forehead drawing in from the core to get that flat back. Good. Inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. So if you inhale, let it go. Oh, let a smile go. Feeling good. Moving that body, getting that release. Left leg, we draw it in. You know where we're headed. And extend. Drawing it in. And extend. And then we're going to take our lovely little step forward. Good. Finding your balance. Finding that lovely knee to your ankle extension and then coming up dropping down finding that lovely depth in the hip so staying there maybe bringing the palms together inhale and exhale sink down drop the shoulders relax the forehead beautiful you want a little extra back bend in there breathing in Maybe a little back bend and exhale. We're going to bring the hands down. Shifting the weight into the right hand and the left. You can either come onto the knee or breathe in. Twist the body towards the left side. Maybe open the hand up and drop the shoulders down. But again, keeping that dip. Keeping the front knee driving forward. You want to take the extension option to tuck the back toes. You don't have to, but you can lift up. And here you want to drive the heel away and then keep that sink into the front knee. Good. Hand on the knee or to hand lifted, whatever feels good. Come out of any stage of this pose if it feels too much. Three, two, and one. Dropping that back knee if you took the option. This time we're going to bring the left hand on the inside of that left foot and wiggle the left foot over slightly. So you're opening the hip up a little bit more. Now, option to stay here. You can come up on the fist and sink. You can tuck that back toe. If you want a little bit more, you can take the left hand and just drop the knee out slightly. You use the hand just to sink a little deeper and breathe. This side's a little tighter for me today, but also if you want and you've got that flexibility, you can sink down onto the elbows. You can even take the hand and push the knee wide. Up to you. I'm going to come up a little higher today. It feels really tight on that side for me. Three. Again, always listen to your body. Relax the forehead. Two. And then one. Nice little lizard lunges, guys. If you're on the elbows, come up. You've got it. Everybody slowly shimmy the hips back. Wiggle that front foot back. Knees, hip distance. Nice, relaxed child's pose. Oh, love the job. And if you want to bring the hands behind you towards the heels, let the forehead relax down. Just breathe here. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Focusing this time on breathing into the back body. Inhale. And exhale. For three. Two. And one. Breathing in. And breathing out. Beautiful. Slowly bringing the hands forward. We're going to peel the body up. Get the cat pose. And find your little cow. And back to a nice flat back. Good. Inhale. We're going to extend the right leg. This time, just take a nice step through. Bending the knee. Slowly drawing it through. You've got it. So this time, we're just going to lift up into a really nice lunge. We're going to bring the hands onto the hips. Now there's this muscle that attaches from the lower part of the rib and it actually loops all the way down into the hip. It's called our psoas muscle. That's the muscle we're gonna try and kind of tap into now. So we have lots of different muscles that run through the hip, but the psoas is one that if we can lengthen and stretch it, actually it's really, really helpful um, to prevent injury and really support us with our flexibility. So what I want you to do is notice that breath in, 
And as we exhale, we're going to tuck the tailbone under and squeeze in the pelvis, draw in from the core. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm starting to already feel that really deep squeeze is starting to activate a little bit of a tingle on that left side. That means that actually, if we bend into this front knee and we keep this squeeze, it doesn't take much to feel the stretch there. So as you bend forward with that knee and you feel that little bit of a stretch, see how that goes for you. See if you can get a little bit of a stretch. You don't have to go deep, just tucking under and staying lifted in the upper body. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Beautiful. Breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. Let's slowly push into that front knee. Come out and stick your bum out. Just give it a little shake. I don't know if you feel that quite strongly. Definitely something to focus on. Good. Breathing in and breathing out. We're going to tuck under again, squeezing in the pelvis. Rotate the shoulders up and back and find that little lift. Inhale and exhale, love the little sink. It can be, so notice that's really small, but this really big squeeze, I can feel that release, it's really tight on that left-hand side. So that's what we're focusing on getting. And keep that squeeze, that beautiful release, inhaling and exhaling, working maybe a little bit deeper if the body allows you to. But remember, we're just trying to release tightness, tension, stress held in the body, inhale. And slowly just extend that front leg, stick the bum out, little shake. You've got it. All right, this time we're going to take just a normal lunge forward, reaching the hands up and sinking forward, reaching down, and hands come onto the mat. Wiggle that front foot back. We're going to slowly just take a quick child's pose, sinking down, little reset in the hips, knees, hip distance, tuck the tailbone under, find your cat. You can feel that work that we did on the left-hand side. Find your cow. And slowly draw the core in, flat back. Kicking the left leg out, bend the knee, and big step forward. Good. So again, you want the knee in line with the ankle. And we're going to slowly come up to that lovely lunge. Now, we're going to stay nice and tall to start. Again, we're focusing here. We're drawing in from the core. So breathe in, tuck under. That's the most important bit. So it's tucking under in the pelvis, keeping the hips square here. Lovely. So actually, I've not even leaned forward yet, and I'm starting to feel it slightly. And then from here, hands on the hips, deep breath in. And as we exhale, sink a little bit, but keep that squeeze, keep the length from the top of the head, feeling that psoas muscle. That's what we're trying to get into, that lovely depth, finding your release. Breathing in. And breathing out. Ooh, feeling that quite strong today. Remember, we're releasing any tension and tightness in the body. Inhale, just wiggle it out, shake that tailbone out. Ooh, breathing in. And exhale through the mouth. And you've got it. Next one in. As we exhale, remember we're tucking under. So we want the pelvis to draw under. We're drawing in from the navel and we're feeling long from the upper body. So rotate the shoulders up. And back. When you're ready, sink slightly into that front knee, keeping this motion. We're really focusing. It's a small movement, but actually really strong. Breathing in and breathing out. Kind of letting go of stress and tension, letting go of any trauma in the past, any worries, any self-doubt. Let it go. Anything not serving you in these deep stretches. Maybe see if the body will let you go slightly deeper. Pillow to the hips today. Inhale, slowly sinking it back. Maybe extend that front leg slightly, reaching the arms up and bend in. Beautiful. Slowly wiggle that front foot back. This time we're going to bring the knees hip distance. Going to tuck the back toes and lift up to your downward dog. Finding a lovely little stretch. In the hamstrings now, wiggling and moving. Maybe really swing the hips. This time, moving them left to right as you walk one heel down, then the other. Breathing. Maybe add a little look underneath the armpits there. Four. Swinging the head left to right. Three. Breathing in. Two. Breathing out. Two. And one. Good. Inhale. We're going to look forward between the thumbs. Come up to the tops of the toes. Step or 
Pop whatever you feel like doing to meet the hands and the toes and find that lovely forward bend. Let the chin draw down, let everything hang and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Maybe take a little swing side to side so you can either grab opposite elbow or you can let the fingertips rock and sway, whatever feels good. Again, it's finding a practice and a movement that feels good, making it yours. Yoga is something you can take with you forever now. Remember, one of the girls that joins us often, she's been on holiday and she's like, I just sat in my own sequence and I couldn't believe I did it. And I thought you all have that now. You can take yoga with you forever, whether you know you got it on Sundays or not. Breathing in, breathing out, coming back to center. Let the body soften and hang. Good, slowly, we were upside down a little longer, so let's bring the hands up, everybody. No matter how good the hamstrings are, and just come to that lovely flat back, taking a minute to get any dizziness out of the way, breathing in, coming up to a nice standing position. And exhale, beautiful. Let's take a little drink. And just take a little reset. Cheers, everybody. Just gonna fix my camera. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh. All right. We're gonna take a nice little sequence in Goddess. And then we're gonna do a little bit of side angle and come down and see what mermaid feels like today. And when you're ready, nice big wide stance, bringing the toes out, making sure when you bend the knees, the knees are in line with the ankles. So what we don't want, we do not want a diamond shape at all. We want a big like sumo wrestler stance, good. Let's just take our sunflowers and moonflowers just to kind of warm up, see how it feels. Maybe shake the hips to start. Woo! After all that work, we're gonna feel so loose. You're gonna float off of this mat when you're done. Inhale, reach it up. Good, and exhale, bending it down. Finding your cactus arms in a little sink. Inhale, reaching it up, big reach. And exhale, slowly give yourself a little hug. Oh, feeling good. Inhale, reaching up, big lift. Exhale, sink, finding your cactus arms. Draw the shoulders down, maybe sink a little deeper. Inhale, reaching it up. Exhale, sinking down. Give yourself a really big hug here. Maybe see if you can really get the hands back. Sink and draw the shoulders down. Good, inhale, reaching up, one more of each. Slowly stretch up. Nice work. Exhale. Drawing in from the navel, shoulders down, feeling strong here. Maybe sink a little deeper. Squeezing in the inner thighs, coming up. And exhale. And giving yourself that lovely little hug. Maybe walking the hands back, drop the shoulders down. You've got it. Three, two, one. Coming all the way back up. And bring the palms in. Thumbs to heart center. Deep breath in. And exhale. You've got it. Breathing in. Exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. From here, we're going to swoop the hands down onto the hips. And take a little bit of pulsing, a little bit of fire in the lower body, the hips and the core. So when we pulse, we want to come out of it. Go for it. If you want to push, I'll push you. Yeah. A little bit of sweat on. Inhale. Exhale, sinking. Now, if you want to find a pulse, you can. Otherwise, you can just straighten the legs to all the way up and come down. So it's up to you. If you want a little bit more depth, let's take the pulse. You want to keep pushing. We're going to lift that right heel. A little bit deeper. Four. Three. Little smile. Three. Two. Deep breath. One. Drop the heel and squeeze and lift. Inhale. Rotate the shoulders up. Exhale through the mouth. Drop them down. You got it. Inhale and bend. Maybe finding that lovely little pulse again. Again, a little join from the navel here, a little squeeze in the glutes, getting into the hips. Don't forget to breathe. Three, 
two and one, maybe lifting in that left heel. Oh, that little fire in the lower body. You've got this team. Three, breathe. Two and one, dropping it down, squeezing it all in. Lovely, inhale, reaching it up. Exhale, bringing the hands down onto the knees and just sink. Little twist, drop the right shoulder in, look it up. Inhale, coming back to center and dropping the left. Inhale, back to center and slowly squeezing and coming up. Nice work, everyone. From here, we're going to wiggle the feet and the heels in slightly. Not quite hip distance, just a little bit slightly more. I'm going to come into Malasana pose, which is our yogi squat. Take a deep breath with me in. And next, so we're going to bend the knees, slowly tilt the bum out and bring the fingertips forward. Imagine you're coming into like a pose like a frog. So start by coming up onto the tops of the toes and maybe lift the heels. I like to rock side to side to get into this one. And then finally, see if you feel more comfortable here with the toes and the heels lifted, or can you wiggle and get both heels down and sink that tailbone down? If this feels way too much on your knees, just come up from here and you can do the twist just like this. All right, so if anybody has really soreness in their knees, come a little higher. If you're in our yogi squat, find that position that feels good to you. Reek pose is what Malasana kind of breaks down to in Sanskrit. So bringing the hands together, we're gonna push the elbows into the knees and lift the chest. Good, again, the heels can be on the mat or heels lifted. If you need to come down at any point, please feel free just to sit down and come back to us. We're gonna reach forward with our right hand. And the idea is to move that knee wide. Inhale, looking up, little stretch. Sink in into our little bit of our reek pose. Draw the shoulders down. Inhale, slowly coming back to center and opening up this time. Left hand draws out. You can either have the hand on the floor just lifted and opening the right hand out. Inhale and breathing out. Exhale, slowly bringing that back to center. You're gonna open it a little quicker. Opening the other side and back to center. And open, and one more time. A little stretch, upper body and the hips, back to center, and last one. Beautiful, inhale, slowly coming back to center. We're gonna lean forward with the hands, lift up in the heels, and see if you can lift the tailbone. If that feels too much, just bring the feet to the side and come all the way back up, meeting us up in a nice standing position. So you've got it. Shake it out, roll the ankle, inhale and exhale. For some of us, that would have felt really strong on the knee. So remember, you can always do that pose up here, lifted and lifted. Important to listen to your body as you move through that. Awesome. All right, nice little um, warrior two now. So we're gonna bring the left toes to face the short edge of the mat. The right toes are gonna face the long edge. Nice big stance for reaching out, inhale, and exhale, sink. Again, keeping that tuck under in the pelvis to move the knee more towards the baby toe. Straighten, inhale, sink, and straighten. Breathing in and sink. Option to bring the back hand back and reach up. Draw the shoulders down, sinking into the front knee. Beautiful. And then slowly straighten that front leg, bringing the hands back in line. Inhale, and exhale, lovely little sink into the front knee. This time front elbow comes down, reaching that top hand today alongside the ear. Good, deep breath in and out. Good, straightening that front leg, arms come out. Good, one more of each, inhale. Little sink to the front knee, back hand comes down, reaching up. You can stay here, where you can reach towards that back ankle, taking a little bend and a sink. Three, two, and one, using that front leg, inhale and exhale, sinking, maybe side angle. I promise this is your last little push here before we try our mermaid and relax. 
Inhale, straightening nose, arms, and legs. You've got it slowly, bringing both toes to face inwards. Let's take our forward fold, reaching up and hinging at the hips just to get that lovely stretch in the backs of the legs. Either bringing the fingertips to the mat, the fists or the palms, and then draw the chin in. Good, feeling that stretch whatever way feels good. Just relaxing down. Inhale and exhale, really nice one to reset. Nice little stretch in the spine. Three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly coming back up, using the inner thighs and the core to come back up and drop the shoulders down. Let's wiggle the heels in. I'm gonna turn the right toes towards the short edge and wiggle that back foot slightly and make sure the back foot is facing the long edge of your mat. You've got it, inhale, let's find our warrior two. Drop the shoulders down, in from the core. Remember, body stays here and we bend into that front knee. We don't wanna stick the thumb up, we wanna tuck it under, rotate the knee out. That's how you get into that lovely hip. Inhale, stretch. Inhale, and sink. Lovely, and straighten. Nice deep breath in. Sink with the option to bring the back hand down, top hand up, or maybe reach. Lovely. Remember, don't push into that back knee if you've got that back hand going back. Using that lovely line, stretch that front knee out and come back. Inhale. Bending that front knee, little side angle if you like, and on the hip or opening. Again, sinking into that knee, getting that lovely openness, tucking under in the pelvis, drawing in from the core. Three, two, one, straightening it out. Deep breath in. Drop those shoulders. One more of each. I promise. Lovely strengthening and stretch. Hips, lower body like promise, bringing it down. Maybe a little reach back. Three, two, and one. Inhale, stretching it out. Nice deep breaths. And down and over. You've got it. Drawing in, drawing down in the shoulders, finding that length. Sink down. Three, two, and one. Beautiful team. Slowly moving it wide. Bring the hands in and bring the toes in. Wiggle the heels slightly in a bit more. Take a nice deep breath in, reaching up. Exhale, bend the knees. We're going to fall down and just come down onto the knees. Ah, <laughs> nice bit of fire. Grab your drink and sit down in a comfy position for us. Cheers, guys. <laughs> I promised the first part of the class would be a little, create a little heat, a little strength, focus on the lower part of the body. Body can start to feel lower body stretching. Some lovely twists in there as well and some upper body stretch to keep it going and flowing. Inhale and exhale. Good, so before we get into our mermaid, a mermaid is a little extension of our pigeon pose. So we're just gonna kind of warm, take some slow movements to get there, and then we're gonna slow down. So where the body is warm, we just rotate the shoulders up and back. Good. Breathing in. And breathing out, inhale. Breathing in and out. Three, two, and one. Now, mermaid might be a pose that you look at today. It might be something that you try. It might be way too much. So it's just to show you what that pose might be, a little challenger, but it doesn't mean that you have to do it today. Um, or maybe it's something that you think about trying because the body might go there. What we're gonna do is start with doing some pigeon work. I'm gonna show you mermaid before we get there though. So what we do is we go into our pigeon pose and what we'll do is we'll bend that back knee. So this is working towards mermaid. And we've done everything in the body to stretch to get there. But if you find pigeon really tight, you can come down, stay here, all right? The other option as I move through is to lift up in pigeon and bring that back toe up. You might think, Megan, that's a bit crazy. That feels too much or you might think it's okay. Or potentially you might be able to come back and grab that toe. That's what we're working towards in pigeon. It's really strong. Again, working into the quads, 
That's what it sort of looks like. And eventually you can hook a little elbow and maybe lift that. Now, again, some of you might think, you know what, my body wants to do that today. Some of you just stay in pigeon. But it's something, again, sometimes it's nice to, to show you some new poses, new variations that may be in time something that we work towards. So just something slightly different today. But I don't expect you to get into it um, if the body feels way too tight or the hips are um, it's too deep. Everyone okay with that? And then we'll take a really beautiful stretch in Shavasana. That's it. So a lovely pigeon to finish with a little extension. I love pigeon to finish anyway. So let's bring the knees hip distance, finding our tabletop. Now that you've had a little look, we can play with it. We're going to extend first that right leg, bend the knee, and slowly draw that knee forward as far as you can, leaning forward as well. Bring the knee down. You've got it. Walk the hands slightly forward as well. Then we're going to wiggle that foot in slightly in towards the midline. You've got it. And then from here, we tuck the back toes and we just wiggle the knee back so that we're sinking down. Now, if that feels really tight, just stay here. Maybe untuck that back toe. Inhale and exhale. If you wanted, you can slowly come down onto the elbows and sink a little bit deeper into that pigeon. If you think where we've warmed up the body, that feels okay. It's not, it's not kind of burning too much. You might see what it feels like to just play with lifting that back foot. Maybe drawing the knee in and out. Breathing in and out. You can do that from the forearms as well. If it feels a lot, stop and just stay in pigeon and breathe and close the eyes. If you wanted to play with maybe the next layer, we can bend the knee and hold it. Maybe lifting up onto the hands again. And maybe left hand reaches out and back. If you can grab the toes and see if you can sink a little deeper into the hip, this is the perfect mermaid start. Good. If you're extra flexy and the quad doesn't feel too tight, you can always bring a little elbow crease in. There you go. Maybe reaching the top hand out. Three, two, and one. Good. If you're there, great. If not, release. And everybody just come down to pigeon. Again, that was just to play with, show you something different. Relax. Breathing in. And breathing out for four. Releasing any tension or stress left in the body in your pigeon. For two. And one. Just enjoying this lovely little sense of release, releasing tension, physical, mental, emotional. Sometimes even releasing feelings we don't know we have, but we know there's some little nickel there. Inhale, slowly lifting up and rotate the body over towards the right hand side. We're gonna swing the back foot forward. Just coming up so that the feet are in front of you. Just like this, good. Bringing the hands in, bring the elbows on the knees and just draw the chin in, arching the back, kind of like a cat, cat pose. And let the chin draw in towards the chest. Breathing in, breathing out. A little reset here, relax the forehead in and out, relaxing the jaw. Beautiful, breathing in. And breathing out. Good. From here, we're just going to swing the feet to the side and slowly, slowly find our lovely position here for our next pigeon pose. So, finding your tabletop, extending the left leg, bending that knee, and bringing the knee forward as far as you can, bringing the hands forward to match. Good. And then wiggling that front foot a little more in towards the midline. Keeping that right hip drawn forward. Good job, everyone. Little smile, you've got it. Again, you can take all of the time here just to stay in pigeon and breathe and stretch and release, or you can wiggle that back foot a little bit more and then tuck the toes. If you're feeling okay with the body lifted, stay here. If you want to come down onto the forearms, that's straight too. All options are there for you and your body. There's no right way, remember? If you want to see how it feels to lift that back foot a little bit, Maybe a little higher and a little higher. That's great prep. Not somewhere we need to be today, but just something to play with. Three, two, and one. If there's anybody here who wants to try it, we lift up. 
if the back and the spine and the hips feel okay, maybe reaching back slightly, seeing if you can bring the hand to the back of those toes and slightly relaxing down into that pigeon pose. That could feel like a lot too much. You wanna go back to pigeon, go for it. Otherwise you can give a little hug so the toes come into the crease of the knee. Maybe we look forward and lift. Three, two, and one. Lovely, releasing, bringing the hands down and everybody taking a bit of time in pigeon. Just reset where you need to. Maybe let the whole of the body relax down wherever you want to be in pigeon. Just breathe. For five. Just giving yourself a little pat on the back. Well done for meeting on the mat, meeting yourself. Taking time out to release stress and tension. Remembering, hopefully you feel like you can really like move coming out of this class. The hips should be loosey-goosey, ready to go. Lovely stretch of the psoas muscle, the legs. And we threw in some beautiful twists in there just to really release some tension in the upper body. Lovely. Inhale. When you're ready, bring the hands down. Peel that body up and shift over towards the left. Nice. And we're going to bring that front knee back. Absolutely beautiful. And just come into a little bit of a butterfly pose, bringing the backs of the feet in. Now, before you get into your butterfly, I want you to think about where your butterfly usually goes. And when you're ready, maybe bring the hands to the feet, opening the feet like a little book and see how far the knees will drop out. Maybe notice if you can kind of go back to memory of doing your butterfly in the past. We've done so much work in the hips, you might be able to notice a slight little difference here. Again, if, if, no matter where you are, just breathe, inhaling. And exhaling, try and draw the shoulders down. If it feels really good here, just stay lifted or you can bring the hands behind you and push into the hands to get a little bit further. So finally, if you feel a little loosey goosey today, lean forward with the chest and maybe come down onto the forearm. I'm bringing the head onto the fifth. For four. Nice, slow, deep breaths. Three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly bringing it back up. You got it. Awesome. A lovely little twisty class into the hips, bringing the knees in and cross at the ankles if that feels comfortable or cross like it's not comfy. Sit in any way that feels good to you. Breathing in. And exhale, we're gonna turn and twist towards the right hand side. You can bring your left hand over towards the right knee, breathing in, maybe twisting a little further towards that back hand. Good, just breathe, draw the shoulders down, breath to belly, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, coming back to center. And exhale, twisting the other direction. Right hand to the left knee, left hand out. Breathing and lengthen in the spine, the belly and the chest, and then maybe take it a little further over. Relaxing the forehead. Maybe finding a little smile, relaxing in the jaw. Three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly coming back to center position. I invite you to bring the hands in front of you. What I want you to do is bring the thumbs so that they touch and the hands are open wide, almost like a little butterfly. Good. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to slowly bring the fingertips forward. And then we're going to roll so that you kind of get the backs of the thumbs to touch. You're going to get the backs of the hands to touch, rolling the fingers in towards you and then drawing it forward again. And then you're going to kind of bring the pinkies together, rolling forward bringing the thumbs together and under, that's it. So you're making circles, trying to then, once you find that bit of movement, pushing the backs of the hands together as you draw them in, good. If you can, if you want a little bit of an upper body stretch, keep the elbows lifted kind of in line with the shoulders, but it doesn't matter where they are, getting that lovely stretch in the hands for five, 
Breathing in and out for four, three, little smiles, two, and one. Good. Next time, you, I want you to bring the palms to touch and push the fingertips out, draw the shoulders down. Inhale, lift it up, and draw the hands back as far as feels comfortable, maybe looking up. Inhale, drop the shoulders down. Good. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, separate the hands, this time floating them behind you, leaning forward slightly to interlace them behind you. So it looks a little bit like this. Inhale, straighten the arms if that feels good. If not, hands could be on the lower back. Maybe push the palms out. That feels good. Feeling that lovely stretch in the hands, the wrist, the upper body. Inhale. Option to stay there or lean forward with the chest and draw the chin in. The forehead makes it to the floor. You can relax it there. Maybe reaching the arms a little higher over the head for that final release and stretch. Three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly coming back up. Release the hands and bring them onto the knees. Lovely. Rotate the shoulders up and back. For three. For two. And one. Beautiful. Inhale, slowly bring the knees in. We're going to bring the feet down onto the mat. Reaching the hands up. This time, reaching forward and then slowly come down using your fork, letting the spine make its way to the floor, reaching the hands up over the head, maybe extending both legs out, feeling long, arching the back. Oh, how nice is that? If you want to grab the hands above the head, you can. Feeling the length, the stretch. Oh, hello to the body. Three, two, and one. Slowly bring the hands up. And down alongside the body. And you're welcome to stay here or grab any of your other creature comforts. Maybe bring the feet a little wider. If the lower back is sore, bend the knees. But find your favorite Shavasana position. And as you slowly begin to find that space, if there's any last stretch that you need before you get there, take it. Really using this moment to give yourself whatever it is that you need before you find a space of relaxation. Breathing in and slowly, slowly breathing out. Mm -hmm. oh. Coming back to that question in the beginning, you know, did you find space where you kind of lost track of the time and got lost maybe in the body, in the breath, in the release of the tightness and the tension? Did you find a flow today? Did you find that space where you were able to drop out even for a little part of the class of the list of things to do? And if you did, give yourself a little pat on the back, a lovely deep breath in and out. I'm taking time today to write a love letter to your body. Breathing, getting to know yourself physically, releasing emotionally through stretch and breath and body. And I hope that you feel a really beautiful sense of release today as you kind of get up on from the mat later on. Just notice maybe how the hips feel. Maybe were you able to release maybe something bigger today? Breathing in. And slowly breathing out. Breathing in. Okay. 
in a little bit of silence and music, just allow the forehead to soften, the space between the eyebrows, releasing alongside creases of the eyes and that skin. Softening in the jaw. Really separating the teeth here, giving yourself deep sense of relaxation. Breathing in and breathing out. Softening in the shoulders. Relaxing from shoulders to elbows, elbows to the wrists. Releasing in the hands. Allowing the breath, natural rhythm, to help you soften in the chest and the belly. Releasing even further into the hips. Any tension in the glutes. And finally allowing yourself to relax in the whole of the lower body. Letting both legs feel heavy, releasing even the slightest last bit of tightness still there. Letting go the arches of the feet and the toes. Breathing in, feeling release and lightness from the crown of the head down the face, all the way down the front and back body to the tips of the toes. And today I have a poem that suggests what yoga is not by Villa Kalima. Yoga is not about being bendy. It's about showing up to your mat consistently, not knowing what is going to happen and being okay with that. It's about rehabilitating yourself and not believing the experts when they say you are too injured or too old. It's about believing you can do anything, even if it's the most scariest, impossible thing you could ever dream of. Yoga is about uncovering who you really are in some ways. It's about being kind to yourself so that you can then be kind to others. Yoga is about discovering that most of the crazy thoughts in your head are not true. It's about being healthy without pushing yourself to uncomfortable limits. It's about slowing down to get strong. It's about breathing and moving and smiling on the inside. It's the hardest thing I've ever done, but also the best. Yoga is not by Villa Kalima. I'm sure you all have your own definitions of what yoga, stretch, community this time brings to you. Whatever it is, soak up all the good things and take it with you through the rest of your day and your week. That is your Sunday stretch. Hopefully you feel loose, relaxed, and ready to take on all that's ahead. Stay a little longer if you like. Have a lovely day.